All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, out here in the wonderful snowy winter wonderland of uh, eastern Washington State. It sucks. Stupid winter. Wait till February to do this junk. It sucks. Anyway, that's besides the fact. So, the Gumby truck is all finished up. She is done. She is running. She is driving. Everything works on her. <laughs> here is underneath the hood. Cut the Crown Vic engine, Crown Vic AC, the electrical stuff's all been thinned down and running through, got the lighting um, for the Crown Vic wiring, ran to the headlights and stuff, um, PCM is all there, uh, cool cold air intake <laughs> on it, cold air sucking hot engine air into it, so anyway, uh, yeah, so she is rocking and uh, rolling and stuff um, underneath the engine bay here with it, we'll do a little bit of a walk around, so we got the front end all back on it and stuff watch out for the dripping water mess bed's been cut down of course on this year just have to cut the 16 inches out of the front there's our hump cover for the crown Vic rear suspension <clears throat> there she is on this side looking all slick in the snow and stuff so it is nasty and then it's snowing even more take a quick pop on the inside and there she is on the inside so everything factory you got the truck except for the crown vic column and the crown vic gauges crown vic uh ac control set right there in the old factory ac spot got a radio set up all there uh down over here that box you can see there is the indoor section of the crown vic um heat and ac coil on it Crown Vic uh, wireless uh, cable, not wire, yeah, <laughs> fly by wire uh, gas pedal. That is the truck uh, brake system that's back up inside there using the Crown Vic booster assembly. There's the lighting control for uh, the Crown Vic as well, powers lights up. Otherwise, everything else is all truck on the inside. It's rough, but the customer is going to be doing everything else on their own finishing. I think they're actually going to blow it all apart and paint it and stuff anyway, too. So. Yeah, she is rocking and rolling. Had a little bit of rundown and stuff on her, but not a huge ton. Um, so kind of show the brake stuff maybe a little bit. It's hard to see. Uh, there she is. But yeah, so that's the Crown Vic master cylinder and booster. And then that is the power brake um, adapter that came on this truck because it had power brakes. So I just had to cut the ears and move them out a little bit further. Um, and it fit up uh, really nicely on it. So, yeah. She's rocking and rolling. So, yeah. Just want to show you the finished product on it. And the new owners will be hopefully coming to get her pretty soon. 73 F-150 sitting on a 2009 Ford Crown Vic chassis and drivetrain. She's a thing of beauty. She's rough, but she'll be pretty once they're all done with her, they're going to do some programming on the PCM and stuff like that too, I guess. And um, full exhaust system and I think like a cage deal or something. So they're going to take it and run with it. So we got it all swapped over like we were going to do. Front bumper's all on and looking pretty good. Um, as good as it can be. It's all bad. I swear there's not a straight panel on this truck. It's it's a rough, rough truck. I had a hell of a time trying to get the fenders and everything to line up and stuff. I was being pretty anal about it till I realized, oh, they're going to blow it apart and do it all anyway. So... There'll be a lot of Bondo on that backside because there was a lot when I cut it apart and stuff, but it is what it is. It'll be a rad shop truck for them. So, yeah, another one done here at Midnight Run Creations.